No way, this is crazy. What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Zach here, Jay Z Reacts. Tommy Richmond today. Finally, I've been waiting so long for this ever since he announced this project. Honestly, like the blow up artist of the decade, I swear. This come up has been insane from him. Um, and especially in the midst of like the Kendrick and Drake, like basically everything in the whole music world is just about them, I feel like. Tommy Richmond, this project, Coyote, doesn't have Million Dollar Baby, doesn't have Devil is a Lie either. So he's really like. Guys, I got some in the bag for you. This is it's, I'm not just a one-hit wonder, which I've already listened to stuff in the past, the Rush and Alligator, like before he actually got big because I actually really liked him and I loved him on Upset with um, Brent Fies. Like, he's on the label now and like, he's got this huge come up with 2024. So like, I'm very excited for this project today. Coyote is 11 tracks. I have heard one of the songs, so we'll skip that later, but let's get into it, baby. Track one is Elephant in the Room. Dude, I'm like so excited actually. This is Coyote Radio. Fire. Exactly what I want. I want the 80s. Like, Tommy Richmond's. His style is so nice. And I know, like, the Brent Fies influence is, like, so nice with it, too. Because their styles mesh so well together. So, track two is called Whitney. You and I This is crazy. Incredible. That was just straight heat. Like Oh, just like this 80s funk, just nasty little groovy bounce with like the he just the heavy hits in the back kept going in and out, like perfectly constructed. Like, oh, oh, if we in for that, that's two tracks in, and that was uh, track three is called Temptations. Interesting. I've been on my shit again. Singing Tommy here.
He's silky on this one though. So ridiculously 80s silky smooth. Giving like earth, wind, and fire for sure. Like, I liked it though. Like he's, he's killing it. This is the vibe I wanted. I was hoping he'd stay super true to this stuff. And like so far, Coyote's like, whoa. Next track's called Whisper in My Ear. I don't even know what to say now. I don't know what to say. I love that chilled, like slowed down. He didn't do too much, but he still added his little flair with the sound and the backgrounds and just that like, removing stuff to only like subtly drop and drop and drop until finally bringing it back. Yeah, and I love the cuts. The two, 230, we got a couple three minutes, 240s. Like this is a good range for this stuff. It's not too much. But it allows him to do what he wants to do, and he's killed it so far. Track five, moving to new, it's called Give It All. I just love his voice. It's just so infectious. I don't got So not that it was like an interlude, but it felt like it just gave the space of like kind of taking it a little bit back from the style and just kind of like, like I was just vibing, like just dr like driving, like perfect, like just driving in the car. Like we're just cruising. That's kind of the vibe I got. And I liked it. It was, it was like heavy verse, heavy vocal and just like track six, kind of the first one with like listed features I guess contributors it's Tommy Richmond Trevor Spitta and Zachary Moon on Tennessee
highest in the room. They call me Tommy because I'm trying to get rich, man. Dang. Um, the other two on there, I'm definitely checking out their stuff because that those verses were hot. I ain't even gonna hold you. They were, I like them. Um, I mean, I just want to see you pop that ass cheek. Like with the, I get what he was trying to go. I get the vibe they're trying to play with. The, throw a little bit of that club hit on there. There was something else that was just, oh, like he was flowing at the first. My carpet's Persian. Take my shoes off at the door. Cause I've been lurking. I've been stepping urgent. Like, like he was just in it. They were in the bag on that one. And there wasn't, they didn't force it, but they just flowed. Like they fit so well together, all three of them. Okay, then that leads us into track seven, which is Thought You Were The One, which... <laughs> track eight, we're going to Letterman with Paco! He really better not miss on this project. That's crazy. Paco, that was fire. Like, sheesh. Again, just like, I feel like he's just trying to transcend, like, out of that one hit wonder status. And, like, a project like this, I feel like. He's gonna come a long way for that. Like, he's staying true to his roots and really getting in his bag with it. And, like, that one was so nice. It just felt like this kind of just, like, nostalgic, like, like experience going through with the Letterman and, like, the, just, like, the message, I guess, behind the song. I don't know. But I liked it. I liked it a lot. Three tracks left. Track nine's called Green Therapy. Back there. That's crazy. I, 
was just, just freaking out because I just saw how long the next track is and I'm officially in love with Tommy Richard because it's six minutes but anyways that last track with the message with the green therapy was chef's kiss I love the vibe but that was such a complete like 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 it was beautiful like there was this great like um, harmonization in the choral parts like such a sick voice I had the little like the little piano drip like so many elements to it like that was a great track and then it flowed from that outro into the next track which is vanity which like I said is six minutes which I'm a sucker for long tracks so Okay, so like, I said it in there, and I'll probably talk a little bit more about it at the end, but like, the Mike Jackson, like, he's taking this places. Like, this is different. And like, I felt it, like, truly on that one. I was like, and not that he's like copying him, but like, you feel that 80s kind of just trickle down influence into this stuff. And like, for him to just. I mean, that's pretty ballsy to come out with a, is this album like this and drop a six minute plus track. Like, he is so confident in his craft, and you can tell, and I love it. Here we go with the last track. It's track 11. Seems like time moves forever with My Name Isn't J Mac. You're not Tommy Richmond, Coyote, man, with that last one, like, I totally forgot, oh, that verse from him, I was like, okay, let's get, like, you could definitely hear Kendrick's, like, influence with that, but, like, Tyler, the creator with Tommy, like, I was like, hold up, like, I can feel that, 
that aggression with Tommy's kind of chill R&B flow with it. I don't know. Just some vibes I was getting on that last one, but super good again. Last two tracks bringing up the track average, but I love the longer ones at the end throwing them there. The and like they're not as much like they're a little more like cruisy, like into this spacey place that you can just exist in. And I like that about it. And also, I love this so much. <laughs> Honestly, like, this was crazy. I suspect that those people on the project were, like, some of his close homies. Like, people he's been through stuff with. Um, but, like, it felt so nostalgic, so 80s, so, like, Alone at Prom, Don FM, Michael Jackson, like, influence for sure, like... And not that he's like a derivative of it, but like that he has been kind of like, come on, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, kind of just like brought into this, no, 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 no. That because of Mike Jackson, because of Michael, he like feels comfortable being able to go to this space that he feels like no one's done. And this is completely different. Like, you could say like Brent Fies is kind of has some stuff, but like, mm -mm, Tommy's like, own worldly stuff and like that's how i felt the whole project and they call me tommy because i want to be rich man that was so good this is honestly one of the first times where i'm like off of first listen the top five tracks just does i i can't like there wasn't a moment that i didn't love in this whole thing so like i don't know how to pick like i can just give you five to like stick out to me but like it's not gonna i don't know like Whitney, Temptations, I don't even, Vanity, Letterman was great, give it, like, nah, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't give it to you, but that was Kyrie, Tommy Richmond, let me know what you guys think about him in the comments, I loved it, I'm so proud of the man, that was so good, yeah, more stuff coming on the channel, but this was great, I'm gonna be destroying this the rest of the year for sure, but like, comment, subscribe, leave your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and see you guys on the next one.